Welcome back. Today, take you for a test drive. So uh, we got to the boat launch. There's actually a lot of people out here today for a Thursday afternoon. As you can see, the boat dock was a little slippery. I about fell trying to get unloaded by myself. But it happens. There's some pretty good waves over here too. Lake is super calm, but obviously a boat or something has gone by. I don't see it yet. There's about four foot of water. Got a couple nice boats out here today. There. I don't know what set it off. I don't know it's running. So, today, just wanted to get it out on the water, show you guys what it took to kind of load it, unload it, and uh, run it around a little bit. They see the power, how fast we can get going, how quiet it is. I can sit here and talk to you, and I got it about 1500 RPM just idling out and uh, yeah let's get a look at how she runs
I'm going to kind of give you a top speed run here. I've got no, nothing in the live well. Um, about three quarters of a tank of fuel, as you can see. And uh, yeah, there's my. Uh, so the miles per hour doesn't quite work. It did when I first bought it. For some reason, it's not now. So my GPS actually tells me miles per hour right here. And right now we're at 2.7. So I will give you a little speed run, let you see the uh, top miles per hour if I can get up to it in this lake. This lake's kind of small. Go down here a little ways, get turned around, and uh, head back. I'll also give you guys a, uh, when I get down here and turn around, I'll also uh, show you as well how fast it gets on plane. Right now we're running 23 miles an hour, 3,000 RPM. I still have the motor trimmed all the way down. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. So we're all the way back down in the water. It's idle all the way back, I just have in gear. We're doing four, three, three miles per hour. Here we go. Hit my own waves here. Trim is up, 42, 43, 47, 48. Trim it up a little bit more, 48.8, 48.9. As you can see, 49. Running 6,000 RPM. Trim's pretty much all the way up at 49 and a half. A 49 and a half miles per hour top speed. One person. Um, nothing, no, nothing in the live well. Three quarters of a tank of fuel, and all my gear in here. Got good water pressure. Thirty-five hundred RPM with the trim down. We're looking at about twenty-seven miles per hour. The trim up a little bit here. So at about twenty-eight, trimmed up. We're losing speed. So about right at the perfect trim, you're at 28 miles an hour, 3,500 RPM. Go across my own waves here. Cuts through the waves pretty easily. So 
as you can see, uh, idling, can't even hardly hear it. Four stroke, Pro XS, 175. She runs pretty good. So I think I'm gonna try to do some fishing. So I just dropped my toller motor. I'm telling you guys, now, I'm gonna plug it in. If you don't have one of these, you should really get one. They're so nice. I'm actually just gonna hit. Go ahead and hit spot lock right here. And this boat will hold me in this general location within a foot or two. And it's uh, done by GPS. Let's see if we can catch a fish or two. Start the day off. I'm gonna just throw a little worm here. See if we can't catch anything. This is a uh, green pumpkin red flake. It's called watermelon crawl. Um, Slim shake by Guggen. And then just a little uh, 316 ounce of weight. I'm gonna get up here close to this bank and uh, just kind of throw a couple casts on the bank here. This lake is uh, man-made. It uh, used to be an old cooling lake. It's fished very heavily. As I said on Thursday afternoon, everybody should be working. And I've seen probably 15 trucks in the parking lot. Been known for walleye. A little bit of uh, large mouth, got small mouth in it, crappie, bluegill. So as you can see, I, I really haven't touched this thing a whole lot. I set this in the direction I want to go, and and it kind of just takes me there. Set the speed of however fast I want to go. Right now I'm at 0.3 miles an hour. I've got it in the second. Second. Oh, I think that's what you would call. So, <clears throat> fishing wasn't that great today. I only had a couple hours out here. I uh, plan on fishing in the evening a little bit, but uh, I gotta go pick up my daughter, so 
I should be, you know, leaving the lake by, within the last next half hour. So I wanted to uh, kind of go over a couple things that I really like about this boat while we're on the water. Um, one of the things you can see back here, I've got a large, there's, there's, I have all kinds of room. And as I showed to the last video, this here pops up. And uh, you got two seats under here, but like I said, I very rarely ever flip this up. I usually have it down for fishing. But another thing, these are these extra wide gunnels. I mean, I can, I can stand up here and jump up and down and the boat is, I'm sure I can get it to rock, but this boat is so sturdy. You got kids or, or uh, a wife who's a little edgy on the water, this thing will make them feel so comfortable. Um, the seating is, is nice. It's definitely very comfortable. You can sit in it all day. The stability is tremendous. And uh, there's lots of room. Yeah, it's not a bass boat where you get all the room up front, but uh, it's got plenty of room to fish for anything. Now, personally, you'll see that I, I fish mostly in the back because that way I can see my depth finder and I can control my trolling motor from back here. So uh, once I get my depth finder installed up there at some point, which I, I really want to do, um, then I'll probably fish the front a little bit more. But um, until then, I like to be able to look at the depth finder, just kind of see what depths I'm in and uh, and what uh, you know what it's looking like on the on the bottom. Now, this lake here isn't that. I mean, there's no real structure. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's just a big rock quarry. So, and it's fished pretty hard all the time. So the uh, fishing today wasn't that great. But um, figured I'd show you the stability of it. I'll take you for a little ride. Let you see what it looks like while we're, while we're moving. Um, and so on. So let's do it.
that was the test drive. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them below. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll try to bring you some good content, uh, fishing, whatever. Whatever you guys want, just let me know. But uh, that's your test drive. Thanks for watching.